Hello, everyone. I have an important announcement. When Tweedle Beetles do battle using paddles in a bottle on a poodle eating noodles, you have a Tweedle Beetle bottle paddle battle on a noodle eating poodle. Of course. Academic writing becomes better the less words you use. And I was thinking about that, that, that paragraph there. It took a long phrase and it condensed it to the minimum number of words. And that's what we do in academic writing. Good academic writing says things without wasting words. I examined this guinea pig piece of text. A bit long to read to you, but trust me, it's 159 words. Let's look at just the first paragraph, see if you can keep your mind on what I'm saying. Embedding forcing functions into your life is done by creating faster feedback loops that are also high stakes. You want the stakes for performance to be high, Otherwise, the forcing function isn't powerful enough. But Tosi, her pride was on the line, as was the reputation of the restaurant. She had to perform not only for herself, but also for her entire team and for the patrons. Of course, I've taken that out of context. It's kind of difficult for you to understand what it's all about. But did your mind wander a little bit? If it did, it might be because I read it so poorly. Or it could be, it's a bit long-winded. So what would I do if I owned this piece of text and I wanted to publish somewhere? The first thing I would do is take the axe to it. I would look for unnecessary words that I could just simply delete. And when I did that, I picked out a few. It got a little bit shorter. But as I'm picking them out, I'm thinking, well, if I tear down that sentence and rebuild it, I can say the same with much fewer words. So I did that. Every time I change something, I put it in red here. Unless I added a word, I put that in pink, and all the gray words disappeared. Look at how much gray there is. I only added two ands, but I got rid of a lot of words. Let me read it to you again. Embedded forcing functions creates faster feedback and high stakes. Maximize them. Be demanding. Tosi's pride and the restaurant's reputation was on the line. She had to perform for herself, her entire team, and the patrons. Much shorter, right? And it's a little bit easier to focus. I did that to all three paragraphs that I showed you. And when I got out my axe and deleted, 159 words went down to 138. And then I got restructuring. And when I did that, 138 became 86 words, much more concise and I think much clearer. One of my favorite authors, Milan Kandira, consistently in all of his books, not just The Unbearable Lightness of Being, he says something so impactful in a few words. For instance, a couple in a coffee bar in Switzerland. It's beautiful. It's quiet. They're having an intimate conversation. The sun is shining. The building's outside. So spectacular. And then somebody turns on elevator music. And she turns to him and says, the uglification of the world. Think of that. Are you strapped in your airline seat? Having to listen to commercials about the airline carrier? Are you in the doctor's waiting room with perhaps two TVs going at once, sometimes even on different channels, and you're not interested in either of them? Is your life full of flashing images? That is the uglification of the world. Beautiful phrase. Funny thing about this is, I was reading Fox and Socks, and then without having the book that evening, I was thinking, well, how did that go? I tried to recreate it. And by the end of the evening, I was sure I got it right. And then I checked what Dr. Zeus actually wrote was something completely different. I had reconstructed my image of what the paragraph said and made it the way I would to write an academic paper. When Kevin being concise creates content on a channel about the chemistry of carbon near a quail in jail, you have Kevin's concise carbon chemistry creation channel by a quail jail. Please, cite me and the site. Thank you for listening.
www.byinquisition.org is where you can find my workbooks for sophomore organic chemistry one and two and for advanced undergraduates and PhD students. I have an electronic book on Apple Books. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.